Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar one for the UK V, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days so you're going to see some fairly unsettled conditions throughout the rest of this week not completely wash out conditions but it could get fairly blustery and it could get particularly rainy in places at times temperatures as well are going to be below average so actually it does look like pretty poor conditions for early July but there will still be some glimpses of sunshine and warmer conditions. Temperatures at times could get into the low 20s. As we head into the longer range, as we head through the next week or two, it does look like there will be positive, uh, well, there are positive signs, sorry, as we head through towards the middle third of July. As it does look like we could see higher pressure making more of a return with warmer air masses as well. So it does look like we will be all back into the 20s, perhaps, within the next week to 10 days. But that's still in the medium to longer range. So things could still change. And there are hints that it could be hotter as well that we have alluded to over the past few videos. But we'll have a look at that in detail in the second half of the video. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well. The link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see there are bits and bobs of rain around this evening, but really nothing too major. A few areas of rain clearing out to our east, again, mostly light and patchy. And the only sort of disadvantage of this really is the thicker cloud associated with it. But for many who have not seen a lot of rain recently, it's actually probably a bit of a positive falling through this evening. Now, if you do have a look at the temperatures, you can see it is much cooler than it was this time last week. Temperatures in the teens widely uh, this evening, and so we're calling this around 9 p.m., but still warmest in the far south. Now, if you do over to the latest UK view, you can see it is going to go unsettled through this working week. You can see a bit of rain around through this evening with this weakening weather front clearing overnight. And then as we head into Tuesday, we are going to see some more rain heading in from the west. Again, very similar today. Light and patchy, um, heavier pulses perhaps across Scotland, but for most, really nothing too much, just some thicker cloud, with maybe a few sunny breaks in the far east. As we head into Wednesday, we do see a bit more organised rain moving through through the morning. And here we could see some heavier pulses. So the first proper widespread unsettled conditions we've seen in a while. And you can see here, it's not a complete washout, but plenty of areas will see light to moderate rain with, as I said, a few heavier pulses. But the positive is, as it clears east, it does lose its intensity and does peter out. So for the middle to latter half of, latter half of the day, for the afternoon and evening, once it clears in the west, the sun will come out, a few showers uh, as well. In the east, the rain will subside, but it will still remain cloudy. So Wednesday starts out on a pretty miserable note, but it does clear up through the day with the intensity of that weather front decreasing quite substantially. Now, we've got to keep an eye on Thursday into Friday because there is a system moving up from this far southwest. Now, Thursday in the day doesn't look too bad, but overnight we see this more organised area of precipitation moving in and you see a bit of a hook developing within it. This essentially means it's more of a um, deeper area of lower pressure, more intense. You can see it's nothing compared to what we could see through the winter months with massive named storms. This is more likely just to be a bit of rough weather. Wind gusts, as we'll see in a minute, maybe 40 to 50 miles per hour. Not ridiculous, but could warrant a yellow warning. And you can see some heavy blustery rain through the afternoon. And I think the most impactful thing will be is the fact that it does sweep through during the day, not overnight or early in the morning. And that means that it could affect many people through Friday. And there could be some heavy thundery showers on the backside as well as it clears into Saturday morning. Now, do look at the mean sea level pressure. You can see this little low developing, um, spinning up. It's nothing too deep, around 198 millibars. And you can see with the wind gusts, they could peak around the 40, 50 mile per hour point. So again, nothing too severe by UK standards, but this time of year is a little bit out of the ordinary to see this intensity. From the looks of this, I don't think there's any chance of it being named. I think the highest thing we could see is perhaps a yellow warning for wind. But even then, touch and go with that, as to be honest, 40, 50 miles per hour really isn't too much for the UK. Now, if you go over to the max temperatures, you can see as we head into uh, head through Monday earlier, we saw temperatures up towards 20, 21. Nothing great, but 
to be honest, it's not that bad compared to what we see much of the year. Through Tuesday afternoon, temperatures again, 18 to 21. Again, not great. Slightly below average or well below average, perhaps for the north, where we have rain. Um, but again, nothing terrible compared to what we can see or as or what we see throughout autumn, uh, winter into spring. Then we move into Wednesday. Again, temperatures pour during the morning and into the afternoon with that thicker cloud and rain around. It will again hold those temperatures well below average, about five to eight degrees below average for many high teens at best in the Republic of Ireland, where the weather front does clear earlier in the day. And then it's a Thursday temperature to recover, maybe 20 to 21. And then into Friday, where we avoid that rain, cloud and wind could be high teens, maybe 20 degrees. But where we do see that, maybe only mid to low teens. Actually, has look, does look like it has deteriorated those temperatures a little bit compared to yesterday, where there were more towards the high teens, low 20s. But at the same time, the rain has picked up as well. So I'm not surprised with that. There's still a possibility the rain does die down. There's a possibility it does increase. You have to keep an eye on it, but this gives us a rough, rough estimate of generally unsettled conditions with some drier, sunnier weather at times. Plenty of cloud, though, and like to moderate rain at times and then of course below average temperatures it's just how far below average whether it's a couple of degrees still hovering around 20 degrees or whether it's more five to eight degrees below average into the high teens or even mid teens and here i'm talking about england and wales further north it will be even cooler than that now if you look into the uh, longer range things are looking positive as we head towards the middle of the month again we've got low pressure diving southwards over the coming days and that's why it is turning more unsettled but as we head into next week, we see high pressure building in. Now, high pressure here isn't having southerly or southeasterly winds. And that means that the upper end temperatures aren't going to be ridiculously warm. They could get above average, and that's looking quite likely, but nothing ridiculously warm. So no heat wave at this stage, but definitely plenty of drier and warmer weather. Upper air temperatures, as I said, hovering around average or slightly above at times. And again, looking pretty dry and pretty warm not too bad if we're being completely honest no heat wave but temperatures in the low to mid 20s pretty positive there from the gfs it wouldn't be completely without rain but mostly would be and with as i said plenty of sunshine if you compare to the gm again low pressure diving southwards over the next couple of days eventually high pressure makes more of a return next week but still low pressure holding onto scotland that could allow a bit more of a stronger southwesterly wind so that could drop some even warmer air for a time you see the 15 degree ice foam gets close by it doesn't fully push in but you can see some of these more above average temperatures do get very close by as a result of that low but equally that increases the chance of showers thunderstorms and more persistent rains so again have to keep a close eye on that if you finally move to the ecm wf again broadly very similar low pressure diving southwards over the next couple of days as we enter next week high pressure tries to build in but then we see low pressure out to our west again similar to the gm trying to draw up a southerly wind and this again keeps showers and thunderstorms nearby but also pushes up a very warm air mass even the 15 degree isotherm coming in for the far southeast here so temperatures at the surface would be very warm mid to high 20s possible um with this but it would be more exclu exclusive in the south and east and further westwards we would likely have showers and thunderstorms as you can see here so it'd be a very warm maybe even hot pattern but pretty thundery indeed. So again, have to keep a very close eye on this. Now to finish by looking at the latest ensembles, you see this well reflected below average with some moderate areas of precipitation over the next few days. We are likely to go above average again in around a week's time. So we are persistently below average now for much of this week. Then we do go above average for that middle third of the month. Some runs going well above average, 15 degrees plus, that would be getting towards heat wave levels, but the majority are just warm around the 10 plus degree range, which is temperatures in the mid 20s. And you can see it does go drier um, with the less frequent spikes, but still quite a few big ones, which indicate that pattern the GM the east of the F showed with low pressure out of the west with thunderstorms is very much within the ensemble output. And if you do finish by looking at the latest ECMWF ensembles, again, it is broadly very similar. Below average over the next week, precipitation, moderate, and then as we head into that middle third, 
temperatures do pick up. Precipitation actually stays more constant here. Again, indicating that thunderstorms and showers could be uh, could be quite frequent if we did see that westerly uh, based low pressure system with southerly wind, warmer air, but equally more instability. So to keep a very close eye on it, got cooler and more unsettled conditions for all this week. It's not massively unsettled. We haven't got not got a massively fast tracking jet stream with deep lows, but it is going to be pretty unsettled for this time of year. And then hopefully into next week, things do turn warmer, but there is the risk of more thundery activity as a result of that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.